Okay, so what we're doing now, we are back at the pond after getting after some fence. But uh, we've already done our first a little test that broke down a whole bunch of little tests with our strips. That took like 15 seconds. But now we're going to go ahead and do the blue-green algae test. Maya's having some water, so I guess it's a natural test right here. If, uh, we want to take that approach. But uh, So what I'm going to do is we've got to use this bucket. This is going to be a little bit more of a difficult, uh, more complex maybe, testing for water. And so um, basically it give us a yes or a no, a thumbs up or thumbs down on this test. We're, we're stepping back into the lab here of high school and college days. So I'm going to get some water in our five gallon bucket here and then we will start the test right after I get some water. How much do I need? Not the whole thing, but enough to stick your hand in. Okay, we got some, maybe a little bit of mud, but. You gotta put that glove on. So first you have that little white thing. Mm. Put that over the hand that you're gonna dip in there. So hold it at 45 degree, the whole thing underwater? Yeah. Bubbling? Mm-hmm, still bubbling. Uh, it's bubbling. Okay, take it out, put it in there, and yes, there we go. Now I don't touch it, it's gonna get hot, said. And now we've gotta let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes while the chemical reaction happens and all this steam and water boils inside of that thing and brings out all the hepatoxins. I guess it's a blood poison if there is any in the blue-green algae test. Hey Siri, start a timer for 10 minutes. So we're on the second half of this test. Uh, the first part was kind of a chemical reaction. Not sure exactly what is in this, but I set it down in the bucket for 15 seconds. It took the water in, then it started bubbling, pulled it out, let it sit here for 15 minutes. It actually got really, really hot. And that's why I think they made this neat little box here with a hole cut in it, is so you could let it sit without it worrying about it falling or anything so whatever it did inside of there um, now we're ready to do these drops on uh, the test strip right here to actually see our results so here it is we'll find out uh, are we good or bad in this pond just a drop or two do a couple well it says three drops only three drops only All right, put it down and wait eight minutes. It's already making moves. Our third test is, since Maya was really our first test, she did the first um, really test in the water. Our third is going to be Cole. He's gonna drink straight from this bucket that I scooped up and we're gonna see what the results are from that and see how he feels. We're gonna give him maybe 15, 20 minutes and we'll see uh, really just how he feels and how his stomach uh, reacts to it, and then we'll we'll go from there for a third test. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We got eight minutes to wait, and yeah. then if there is one line, we're in the clear. It's one line. If there's two lines, and if there's one by the T, we unfortunately have toxins, so said wait eight full minutes and see what happens so so far it only gave us it already gave us a answer but in a minute, so at least it's not going to be inconclusive yeah true it gave us something okay something we didn't screw it up yet basically i didn't but so far one bar in the c and if it stays like that that means you're good there's a happy face there's a happy face and then there's a sad face <laughs> so we want to be the happy face all right, guys, we have completed both of our uh, water tests. Uh, thanks to Cole for doing a little research and um, some purchasing on uh, online to get us a couple of quick tests. Um, one easy one, uh, get a quick answer, and another one took a little bit longer. But now we know that this pond is in good shape. Of course, I've got about four more ponds I really need to check and make sure that they're all in the clear. 